Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be telling you 16 things to know before traveling to Qatar. Are you about to take a short trip to Qatar or maybe go there as a fan during the 2022 FIFA World Cup? Don't worry, I'll try to answer most frequently asked questions about this fascinating Middle East Asian country. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one. Where is Qatar? The state of Qatar is a peninsula located amid the western coast of the Arabian Gulf. The peninsula is approximately 100 km across and extends 200 km into the Gulf. Qatar includes several islands, the largest of which are Halul, Saruha, and Ashat. Shares its southern border with Saudi Arabia and the maritime border Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, and Iran. Question number two. Which airlines fly to Qatar? Qatar Airways is the national carrier linking Doha to over 160 international destinations. Plenty of international carriers also fly there. Among them are Air India, Asian Airlines, British Airways, Japan Airlines, and Turkish Airlines. You can compare fares by using this flight tool powered by Skyscanner. I'll put the link in the comment section. Question number three, how do you get around in Qatar? Karwa taxis are widely available and reasonably priced. You can order it via the Karwa app or call for service. In addition, you can also hire a private vehicle through ride-sharing apps such as Karim and Uber. If you intend to visit Khur al-Adid in Lansi, best book an overnight tour that allows you to enjoy the breathtaking sunsets and sunrise. Doha also has a metro network with three lines, red, green, and gold. The red line connects Hamad International Airport to the city center. Question number four, is Qatar safe? Well, Qatar is not only safe, it's actually the safest country in the world according to the NIMPO Crime Index. Visiting Qatar is a very safe experience. Of course, there are a few natural risks to be aware of. Violence is quite uncommon, especially towards visitors. As in any other popular tourist sites, pickpocketing occurs sometimes in public areas. Even though scams are uncommon in Qatar, you should always exercise caution when accepting change, haggling over prices, or other services. And you should never pay in advance for anything. Question number 5. Is Doha the only city in Qatar? With a population of 2.5 million, Doha is unquestionably the most significant city in Qatar and has a larger population than the rest of the country. Other than Doha, Qatar is peppered with minor towns and cities. Some of these are port cities while others are more significant since they stand for thriving oil and gas sector in these regions. Visitors will see abandoned and decaying settlements, as well as archaeological sites that provide a glimpse into the region's past. Arrayan, the largest residential region outside of the capital, is situated 12 km north of Doha besides mosques from 18th and 19th centuries. The city also includes a medieval fortified town. Being the country's second most populated city, Arrayan is well known to tourists and has a fantastic shopping scene. Question number 6. Is Qatar expensive? As you would expect, luxurious hotels and Michelin star restaurants in Doha do command top prices. You can easily spend a few hundred US dollars for a night in one of the swinky hotels and splash out to dine like royalty. Thankful, Qatar has options for budget travelers too. You can get a room for 60 US dollars a night in December at the start of the peak season in a surface apartment or a small hotel away from the city center. As for meals, you may spend an average of 5 US dollars a day if you opt for budget restaurants or food courts. Are Qatar's beaches good? While Qatar might not instantly spring to mind as a world-famous beach destination, you can find pretty strips of sand with trailing activities. Whether you are looking for family-friendly facilities or just a relaxed place to unwind, there is a beach in Qatar to sweet. And here are the six best beaches in Qatar. First, Banana Island, just a 25-minute boat ride from downtown Doha. Second, Khur al adaid You can explore the beauty of the inland sea. Third, 
third at the Khaira Beach. Enjoy the main groves along this long stretch of coastline. Fourth, Fiore Beach. Take a relaxing swim at this picturesque seaside. Fifth, the Great Beach. Check out Qatar's wildlife and limestone rocks. And finally, Umba Beach. Relax under the shade of dead palms. Question number 8. Best outdoor activities in Qatar. Qatar's varied terrain and mild temperature make it a fantastic location for adventure. And here are top 10 best adventure activities in Qatar. First, don't bashing. Explore Qatar's unique landscape. Second, scuba diving. Get up close to a variety of marine life. Third, rock climbing. Climb incredible rock formations in Qatar. Fourth, skydiving. Enjoy magnificent views from the sky. Fifth, kite surfing. Ride the winds and waves on Qatar's most popular beaches. Sixth, camel rides. Admire the landscape from a ship of the desert. Seventh, Quad biking. Experience sea line beach on an ATV. 8. Wakeboarding. Try mid air tricks over the water. 9. Explore the waters of the European Gulf. 10. Jet skiing. Join a jet sky safari tour. Question number 9. Are there interesting sites to visit? Yes, of course, there are. And here it is, a must-see attractions in Qatar. Souk Waqif. National Museum of Qatar. Museum of Islamic Art. Qatar National Library. Falcon Souk MIA Park Talai Mayor Beach Club Rick Hart Sierra Balanda Farm And finally a Zubraha Fort Question number 10. Are there sports events in Qatar? Qatar is set to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup from 21 November 2022 to 18 December 2022. With the venue series, the stadium of your choice becomes the backdrop for your unforgettable FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 story. And here are the stadiums.
question number 11 What's about weather in Qatar? Qatar has two seasons, hot, mid to October and cool December to February. March, April and November are transitional months. The best time to visit Qatar is during the cool period December to February, when temperatures are mild, with average ranging between 22 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. Question number 12, what's about food? Qatari food takes inspiration from the Indian subcontinent, Iran, the Levant, and North Africa. Mahbouz, a stew of mutton or seafood served with yogurt, is hugely popular. International dishes are widely available in most hotels too. Question number 13, is Mahbouz the national dish of Qatar? One of the most fun facts about Qatar is that it has a delicious meal called Mahbouz as its national dish. This dish is incredibly popular amongst both locals and tourists. Many restaurants around the country serve Mahbouz. When you are in Qatar, it would definitely be a very wise decision to try it. The dish is made of rice, meat, onions, and tomatoes, and is sure to leave you wanting more. Question number 14, is Qatar the first country that made purple shellfish dye? One of the most interesting facts on Qatar is that the country is known for being the first to make purple dye out of shellfish. The inhabitants of Al Khur Island hold this honor. Al Khur Island is one of the most beautiful and popular tourist destinations in Qatar. There have been discoveries of items from the second millennium BC and the island is called the Purple Island due to the dye productions that happens here. Question number 14, is it right that the Doha Tower has no central core? One of the best things that tourists and locals alike love to look at is the Doha skyline. During the day it looks commanding and at night it's lit up and stunning. Among the structures of the West Bay, there is the Doha Tower. The Toha Tower is a structure that was designed by the French architect Jean Nouvelle. It was named the best tall building in 2012. The 46-story tower has several unique features. The building has no central core and it's the first skyscraper in the world to use internal reinforced concrete diagrid columns. The facade is a nod to the ancient Islamic design, Mashrabiya, and it's just an incredible building to look at. And finally, question number 16. Is it right that Doha has the longest continuous cycle path in the world? The Olympic cycling track in Doha holds a genius world record for having the longest continuous cycle path in the world. It was completed in 2020 and it's 33 km long. The cycling path has a variety of straight paths, underpasses and overpasses, as well as 100 benches and 20 areas for resting. It was created by Ajgal, a public works authority in capital city of Qatar. The track holds a record for the longest piece of asphalt concrete laid continuously as well, which measures 25.3 km. The network of cycling path is a great way to spend the day in Qatar, exploring the different areas and being away from the busy roads of the capital. By this we can conclude this video. If you have any additional questions about Qatar, leave a comment and let me know. If you love this video, hit the like button and subscribe. You should also check the other videos about Qatar on my channel. Thank you and see you in the next video, inshallah.